I got a package in the mail. <laughs> and I know what it is. I'm gonna stop saying that someday. Open it up. Somehow, some way. Cut these pieces up. Tell them where the are coming from. Oh, I'm excited about this. Come on. Ta-da! That's just the order. Yep, the order information. This is a seven port USB 3.0 hub with four amps. So it's got plenty of power to pl power plenty of devices. Box beat up a little bit, but I really can't complain. Alrighty, let's open it up. Contains one USB 3.0 seven port hub, a five volt, four amp power adapter, a USB type B cable and a manual. I wanna know what USPS guy decided to throw my package. <laughs> I'm sure what's in it's fine though. Just open it up. Pluggable makes absolutely everything easy to open. I really, really, really enjoy it. There's the hub. The, oh cool, awesome. I like that much better than the little other ones they have for like uh, the older white four port hub that I have that's discontinued. Here's the, like a laptop style charging, well not charging, but power adapter. That's about it. Pull this out of the packaging. Set that to the side. Let's open up this. Again, I really, really like this. I guess it's called a Type B, like it says. I really, really like that. That's awesome. I much prefer that over the other thing. The one I have for like the older one, the little pins on it get bent real easy. So I'm a huge fan of this. Please never go back to the older things. Let me find it. Right here, this thing. These things get bent so easily. So, and it's, it's like a slimmer design, yeah, because if you think about it, that's like bigger than the unit itself. So I mean, I understand why, but out of preference, I much prefer that. Go ahead and set this to the side. There's everything you get in the box. So you've got seven USB 3.0 ports and there's a fairly large gap in between each one, so that's very nice. You've got your five volt, four amp thing for your power. And then you have your type B USB 3.0 cable. I like that a lot. It's so much better than the other connector. Of course, pluggable branding. Super speed USB 3.0 hub. It is compatible with USB 2.0, so you can stick a USB 2.0 flash drive. And I'll put some screenshots up now. I have confirmed that I have a little, uh, like a Rage XT flash drive that says it will write at 25 and read at 27. And in a USB 3.0 port on a USB 2.0 flash drive, I have gotten better speed results, like a couple megabytes faster and consistent, not, you know, varying 23, 20, 20. I've gotten much better speeds out of a USB 2.0 flash drive hooking it up to a USB 3.0 hub. So all of my USB 2.0 devices, except like a mouse and a keyboard and things that don't really require a lot of bandwidth, trend, like, because USB 2.0 is five gigabits per second or gigabytes or whatever. And USB 2.0 was at like 480. So there's a huge, huge difference. So again, USB keyboards, USB mice, USB speakers, stuff like that, put in a USB 2.0 port. But I do recommend that if you have a faster USB 2.0 flash drive, to stick it in here. I promise you, from my results, I have gotten better speed tests. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to the computer right now. This is my work environment. It's a little messy, but I don't really have much space to put things, so this is how I work. Anyways, this is an ASUS G74SX. It just has one USB 3.0 port on it, so I use that to its full potential. 
Right now, this one is USB 3.0 and it's going to a USB 3.0 HDD docking station by Applicable Technologies. I use it all the time because I can transfer, you know, 100 gigs of footage at 114 megabytes per second to an external hard drive. Here's the little thing that we're going to be using today. I'm going to go ahead and give this some power. No lights just yet. That's not in the shot. Take this USB 3.0 cable. You'll notice that your USB 3.0 port will be blue. I have seen HP laptops where it was not blue and make it real hard to figure out which one's USB 3.0, which one's USB 2.0. Plug this in and it says installing drivers. USB 2.0 hub. I might need to change this around. Oh, there we go. USB 3. First thing I'm going to do is this right here. This U-Speed USB 3.0 card reader. Plug that into one of the slots and it lights up blue. What if you take a USB 2.0 drive USB 2.0 drives are still blue as well and it pops up on the computer. This drive is very old and very slow so it's not going to do us any good to try to do a speed test on it. Hook up this USB 3.0 hard drive docking station into one of these and then we'll power it on. It's not recommended to do that because it needs the controller by itself. So if you need to transfer something to an external hard drive, I do recommend just hooking that up by itself for a moment. It just turned blue. There's my two terabyte drive. My video finished. Sorry about that. My battery died, but that's the benefit and beauty of having multiple batteries for your camera. Anyway, so we're going to take this finished video, cut it, and then I got to find my videos folder right here and then I paste it. It's a six gig video and it's going at 53, 66, 62. See, this is probably what they were talking about where it needs the whole controller by itself. So like if your laptop has more than one USB 3.0 port, dedicate one of them to the USB 3.0 docking station for hard drives because you're not gonna get the speeds you should be getting hooking it up to one of these. It's going at 77. So I got this drive hooked up to it now too. <laughs> Autoplay pops up. I'm going to take this 347 megabyte video and I'm going to transfer it to this USB 2.0 Rage XT flash drive that I have. It's transferring at 20, 23, a steady 23 the whole time from the computer's SSD to the USB 2.0 flash drive using the USB 3.0 dock. And then I can hook up this USB thing into another port. I can have seven USB 3.0 devices hooked up to this all running at USB 3.0 speeds. That's pretty impressive. Besides my USB 3.0 docking station and my USB 3.0 card reader, which this card does not go at speeds like the one my camera does. I can transfer the files from the SD card into my camera recording right now at about 34 megabytes per second using this USB 3.0 card reader. I'll have this sitting somewhere. I'll have to think of some idea on where to put it, but anytime I need to transfer something, I will be putting it in this little dock and not in there. The only inconvenience is mine only has one port, so if I need to use my USB 3.0 hard drive and if I want to use it at its full potential, I can't use this. I have to safely eject everything that's connected to it, unhook it, and then hook the USB 3.0 docking station into it. But that's because my laptop only has one USB 3.0 port. If I had the G75EW, I wouldn't have to worry about that because it has four USB 3.0 ports. Which if you have four USB 3.0 ports, well then again, that's all it has. So if you have a mouse and a keyboard and stuff, you definitely still need to use this because you only have four USB ports total on your laptop. And most people like me have all this stuff, you know, <laughs> 
laying on their table that hooks up to a USB port. So I definitely recommend picking this little adapter up. I will have a link to it in the description of the video you're currently watching. I'll also have a link to this little flash drive. I do recommend it. You could honestly even go with the USB 3.0 flash drive. There is one flash drive that writes at 120 megabytes per second and reads at 200 megabytes per second. And yes, I will be picking one of those up because my older laptop has a USB express card slot and you can get a USB 3.0 express card and I can transfer footage from my HD PVR2 to the USB 3.0 flash drive at 120 megabytes per second and then transfer it to this computer's SSD at 200 megabytes a second. And I'll be able to use this little hub right here for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. I got something cool to show you here today. We want to show you six monitors running on a single USB 3 laptop. It's running 100% of our products from Pluggable Technologies, and so I wanted to give you a walkthrough of, of what we've done here. So first, let me show you uh, what this looks like to Windows. So here's the Windows 7 screen resolution control panel, and you can see we've got uh, a total of uh, seven monitors here, counting the laptop.